We're going to talk about Leicester City's defeat at Manchester City uh, from the perspective of what's going wrong at Leicester. So if you want to get involved in that, 03717 But this man on the back of the sun, Raheem Sterling, a couple of goals for him in that match. And maybe he doesn't get the credit that, that many feel he deserves. So I wanted to talk to you about his performance, but also where Raheem Sterling sits amongst the world's best right now. Well, I don't know what's happened at the at, at uh, Man City at the start of the season. Um, obviously, they bought Grealish. Uh, from what I heard, um, they they were going to offload uh, Raheem to Barcelona. I think that was the shout. Uh, there must have been a fallout between Raheem and and, and uh, Pep because why would a player who was voted in the team of the tournament? Uh, of the Euros probably up there with the top players of the tournament then not start for Man City and Man City didn't get off to the best of starts all of a sudden you, you know Raheem coming back into the team um, has played exceptionally well and that's coincided with Man City being on an unbelievable run now I know that standards that he set um, he dropped below those standards last season but coming off the back of the, the summer of the tournament he, he had I didn't get why he wasn't in the team um, you know there's still rumours uh, and strong rumours about him being linked with Barcelona to go away from the football club but for me that would be crazy I think he's 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 been unbelievable since he's come back to the into the side at Man City and, they, and their fortunes have turned around and, and I said at the time um, I, I, I'm still not convinced about Jack Grealish and when when they they brought Jack Grealish in. I thought if they brought him in as a replacement for Raheem, I didn't get that. Uh, they're, mm. they're levels, different levels. Just to say on Manchester City, Ferran Torres has arrived uh, in Barcelona for his uh, medical ahead of a £46 million move. Just 21 years old, only arrived uh, 18 months ago. They've more than doubled their money on him. And, and how about this for a record? 11 different scorers, Carlton. Uh, of Manchester City's last 17 goals in their last three Premier League games. They've now scored 112 goals in the calendar year. That's the most since Arsenal got the same in 1963. And there is still one more game for Manchester City to go. Incredible side. No, it's incredible. But it, it, what you've got to do is look at the stats. Uh, both Liverpool and Man City have raised the bar again this season in terms of running stats. Um, their, their fitness levels have, have gone up notches. And, and that's why you're seeing them uh, perform the way they are. I mean, Man City still without supposedly a recognised striker. I mean, uh, you know, if they do get the, the Haaland or do they revisit the, ga the Kane deal? Mm. I'm not so sure they will do now, not at that type of money. Um, but if they did gain somebody like Haaland, then it's, it's very difficult to see the, who's going to stop them winning the, the Premier League title this season. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1, on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker, TalkSport.